peculiar profession are few in number. You have been recognized. Let's say by one of your opposite numbers, who is also licensed to kill. Oh, that interesting car of yours. <laughs> I do have a new toy, but considerably more practical. You are looking at an industrial laser, which emits an extraordinary light not to be found in nature. It can project a spot on the moon, or at closer range, cut through solid metal. I will show you. This is gold, Mr. Bond. All my life I've been in love with its color, its brilliance, its divine heaviness. I welcome any enterprise that will increase my stock, which is considerable. I think you've made your point, Goldfinger. Thank you for the demonstration. Choose your next witticism carefully, Mr. Bond. It may be your last. The purpose of our two previous encounters is now very clear to me. I do not intend to be distracted by another. Good night, Mr. Bond. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. There is nothing you can talk to me about that I don't already know. You're forgetting one thing. If I fail to report, 008 replaces me. I trust he will be more successful. Well, he knows what I know. You know nothing, Mr. Bond. Operation Grand Slam, for instance. possibly have any significance to you or anyone in your organization. Can you afford to take that chance? You are quite right, Mr. Bond. You are worth more to me alive. <laughs> 